guys, so I'm so happy to be back and I am here with another haul. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some Japanese candies as well as some makeup products that I've gotten from a convention that I recently went to. Uh, without further ado, let me just get right into it because I know you love this as much as I do. Alright, so the first thing that I have here is this crafty pizza kit and it sounds really fun to make. All you need is water and a microwave. This one costs around $4.00. The next thing that I have here is this soda candy kit and you make these cute little gummies and it's said to be really fun and I'm going to take people's word on that. The next candy that I have here is this mystery jelly powder candy kit and there are only three steps to follow and apparently you get a color change and you get this candy to fizz on you. And this is the back and this is everything that you need to know how to make the candy. That's what I really love about these candy kits. It already includes pictures and visuals, so in case you don't know Japanese or the language, you can just either YouTube a video or you can check the pictures below. Another candy kit that you guys might be familiar with is this Poppin' Cookin', and it looks to be a Crossy Gummy Land one, and it looks to be pretty similar to previous ones we've seen. And this one, I believe, was $3 as well. And the other two behind are $2.50 at my local Japanese market. The next candy I have here is fairly new. It's a gummy mold kit. And what you do is you add the little sprinkles into the molds and then you cover them up with the apple jelly. And you have four choices or four options to get. And they're all a mystery, I assume. And on the back, it gives you everything that you need to make them. Or all the instructions, I mean. The next candy I have here that's a DIY, kind of, is this grape candy. And it's so cute because you get to make these little figurines and play around with them. And I think this would be a great kit for nieces or younger brothers or siblings. And it's so cute and simple to make for beginner DIYers. So I'll put that right here. So another kit that caught my eye was this kind of shaking jelly kind of candy kit and it comes with the cup and everything you need inside of it and it looks really fun and here's the back and how to make it and the only thing you need to do is as well bring water and have a working refrigerator that can freeze it or maybe not freeze or just kind of cool it off and the next thing that I have isn't a DIY kit but it's really cute and probably too expensive for what it is. So these are Sanrio crackers and they're so cute because the packaging, of course. And you can kind of see on the back, they have Hello Kitty bows and in some of them you can also see Hello Kitty herself. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's her. And I think these would be super cute to add on to cupcakes or pocky sticks or anything that you want to decorate. And I think they still sell these. The next candy that I have is this color changing one and it's a gum and it also looks to be like a game but since I don't understand Japanese I sadly wasn't able to play it but it looks really cool. The flavor is also kind of interesting just, just saying if you guys do see this candy and purchase it. The next candy I have here to show you is this traditional Japanese ramune whistle candy. And what you do is you basically place it between your lips and you blow through it and you get a real result. So you'll start hearing whistles here and there. And if you have a younger brother, uh, you'll wish you have never bought it. <laughs> um, it also comes with this tiny little candy and this is fairly cheap. This was a dollar. So this is really fun to introduce your friends or people like that to Japanese candy who have never tried it before. So I'm going to set that here. The next thing that I have is one of my favorite candies. It is this Menji Watapachi uh, cotton candy popping candy chewing gum. And that's a lot in this cute little package. So this is also melon flavored. And basically when you open this up, you get cotton candy with a bunch of pop rocks inside. But once you start eating it, it turns into gum, which is crazy. So if you guys are ever in the store and see that, make sure you pick that up. So another candy that I got is this uh, set of hard candies and they're so cool. Um, there are three types that you can get or four if you include this extra bonus one. 
So the first one has a fizzy center, the second one has sprinkles around it, and then the third one has this type of snow, like this, this, uh, how do you explain it? It has an interesting texture around the hard candy and it's really good and I think all of them have fizzy centers and they're all Ramune or soda flavored. So that's always really cool. Something else that I have that was so adorable that I just couldn't resist was this Hopi or let me see what it says on the back. Yeah, this Hope candy and it's so cute. It has like two flavors. I think they're Ramune and strawberry, but the whole packaging was so unresistible that I just had to pick it up and see how good it tasted. And yeah, it was pretty good. You open it up and it smells so good, like a Japanese candy store, I'd assume. So I got that as well, and oh my god, this looks so pretty. Um, something else that I got was this, let me read what it says. A chocolate cookie that's called Kabaya Sakusa Panda Earth. And these were a bit more on the pricey side. These were like, oops, sorry. These were like 3 to $4 for 8 pieces of this. But it was really good. Um, let me set this down. No, I'll just hold it. Um, basically what it is, is the panda face is a chocolate uh, piece and in the center it has this type of Oreo filling with a chocolate liqueur inside and the other side of the cookie is actually a cookie just like an Oreo and these are really really good so I have that and I just decided I'd try it out you know just cuz something else that I picked up which is a soft candy kind of like a high chew is this so I can't read any of it it says something but I don't know what it says uh, but it's ramen flavored candy and these are really yummy because inside they have uh, kind of fizzing candy and also cute little gumdrops and they come in a multiple uh, variety of flavors I just decided to pick this one up and you can see I already started munching into them so I got that as well and yeah they don't have a name on the back and something else I finally got was this uh, kind of tin of mints and this is if you don't know already by the artist Andy Warhol and I love all of his things like I'm obsessed with his artworks and I saw these limited edition tins at the store with mints and this one had cute little diamond cola mints in them I wasn't too big of a fan of them but I really liked the tin and even though it was expensive like $4.50 <laughs> um, I just thought I'd have it and I could refill it with more mints so I got that. So this is everything that I've gotten for candy. Let me quickly show you a couple other cute more kawaii things before I get into the makeup and stuff. So my friend was cleaning out her room and she found a cute like collection of her old squishies and she decided to give them to me because she knew I really liked cute and kawaii stuff and I really didn't know she was into them but now I do. <laughs> so the first thing that I have here is this uh cute little duck squishy and I forgot his name I always knew it but I forgot for some reason um, but he was like Gorilla Kuma's and Gorilla Kuma's friend another squishy that I got is this Gorilla Kuma bread squishy and it smells like bread too and I got a Gorilla Kuma toast with butter around it and these are really tiny but they're really cute as well and I also got a Gorilla Kuma Gorilla Kuma and this guy uh, dango and the stick is plastic, but that's kind of cool and I finally got this Rilakkuma Yellow donut and this one's squishy too and I love all of them and it's just gonna be growing my squishy collection Oh, make sure you guys let me know if you want to see my collection of squishies I've been meaning to post a video on that But I never thought I had a big enough collection for people to be actually interested in but now that I have all these wonderful things I think I do so let's go to the makeup 